Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a grocery haul and also I'm gonna be sharing my meal plan for the next two weeks. A lot of you guys have been requesting that I do more grocery hauls and meal planning, so that is why I'm filming this video today. So I just got back from town. I've been in town all day long running errands, getting groceries with both of the kids. So I am very exhausted right now, but I'm gonna film this grocery haul for you guys. First off, I'm gonna show you what my meal plan is for the next two weeks. We live an hour from town, so I only go and get groceries like every two weeks. So my plan was to focus these meals just based off of what I had in my freezer because I really need to use up what I have in there. Some of that stuff has been in there for a long time. So I need to start using it up. So I only have to meal plan for supper time because I pack my husband breakfast and lunch that he eats at work. And then me and the kids eat breakfast and lunch at home. The kids have like cereal or eggs. And then for lunch, the kids will have like a sandwich or macaronis and I'll usually have like a salad is my favorite lunch or a sandwich, something like that. Just something light and small. So I have about 14 meals written down here and I also have them written on my chalkboard here as well and so what I'll do is I'll just write down all the meals on my chalkboard that's on my pantry door and I don't have a specific meal set for a specific day I just like to have a long list of meals that I can pick from throughout the next two weeks so here on the menu for the next two weeks we've got crock pot chili crock pot broccoli soup veggie stir fry and rice, hot dogs, spaghetti, chicken and salad, refried bean tacos, stew, teriyaki chicken and rice, crock pot chicken, potatoes and beans, baked carrots, and then I'll probably just like grill some chicken with the baked carrots. So each of these meals will be using up something that's in the freezer. And that is pretty much my meal plan for the next two weeks. I got all of my groceries at Fry's. That is just our local grocery store here in Arizona. And all of these groceries here that are going to last us for two weeks only cost me $107. I usually spend about $150 on groceries, but this week I was able to only spend $107. The reason for that is because I was meal planning out of what I have to use up in my freezer. And if you're trying to grocery shop on a budget go through your freezer and your pantry and see how many meals you can make with what you have on hand and then just get at the grocery store what you need to make those meals and you can save a lot of money that way instead of meal planning for new food that you're gonna get try to use up what you have in your house before you go and get a ton more stuff and I did click list today of course if you don't know what click list is it's where you order your groceries online and then you just pull into a parking spot in front of the grocery store call in and tell them that you're here and they come out in a couple of minutes load all of the groceries in your vehicle and then you can leave it takes like under 10 minutes and it's basically the best thing ever when you're a mom I just can't bring myself to go in the grocery store with two kids anymore I mean I will pay four dollars and 95 cents to have somebody bring my groceries to my car it is totally worth it so I'm gonna get everything taken out of the bags and then I will show you everything that I got Okay, so now finally we're going to get into showing you everything that I got. First off, I got two bags of the frozen chicken breasts. These were on sale and we go through so much chicken because I make my husband barbecue chicken wraps for his lunch. We like to have chicken on salad. I got a bag of frozen corn to put in the chili. I got a bag of carrots so that I could do baked carrots for one of the meals and also I'm gonna put carrots in the stew. And I got three containers of unsweetened applesauce because the boys love to have this for a snack or with their breakfast. I like to have it for a snack too. It's a great low calorie snack. Snack. Got a bag of popcorn. This is me and my husband's favorite snack to have. After the kids go to bed, we like to make homemade popcorn on the stove. I had to get two bags of brown sugar because I'm completely out of brown sugar in the pantry. I got three of these carrot and apple squeeze pouches for Owen. These are only 59 cents at Fry's and I got them to have for church this Sunday. I got a bag of Idaho potatoes. I'll be using this up for a couple of the different recipes. Got a bag of whole wheat bread and then I got three of these Annie's mac and cheese for the boys. These were on sale for 88 cents. I got three packages is a hot dogs not only for the night when we have hot dogs but also the boys like to have these cut up in their mac and cheese for their lunch a big bag of honey nut cheerios this is kyle's favorite thing to have for breakfast and then i needed a couple little random things some olive oil cooking spray mayo we needed some more syrup i got two packages of ground turkey for making the stew and also for making meatballs for the spaghetti this white turkey is for when i make my husband's sandwiches for his lunch usually for the main thing in his lunch he likes to either have the barbecue chicken burrito 
burritos or a sandwich. I have a whole bunch of fresh tomatoes in the fridge that I have to use up so I can use those on a sandwich and I can also use those fresh tomatoes on the refried bean tacos. I got a four pack of canned golden corn to have in the pantry, turkey bacon to have with our eggs for breakfast, a little bag of medium cheddar cheese. I got a little thing of summer sausage because my husband loves to have diced summer sausage in his breakfast burritos. Got some French vanilla coffee creamer, a little thing of sour cream, those were on sale, and then I got a block of sharp cheddar cheese to put on my husband's sandwiches. Also, we like to just have this for a snack. I needed another box of butter. I got us a bunch of bananas, and we have some apples and pears in the fridge too, so it's not like this is the only fruit that we'll be having. And I also, like I said, I have a ton of fruit in the freezer that I'm gonna be making smoothies with and stuff. Got a big box of granola bars. My husband likes to have these in his lunches. The boys like to have them for a snack. Here we've got two bags of tortilla chips. The first bag has the lime seasoning on them. My husband likes to have those in his lunches. And then the second bag is just plain tortilla chips to have with the chili. And then right here, I've got all of the stuff for our salads. Like I said, we love to have salads a lot. So I've got two bags of the romaine hearts lettuce. And I actually got this at Walmart when I ran in there because fries didn't have any of this romaine lettuce. Got two things of iceberg lettuce at fries. And then some bacon bits for on top of our salad and some Caesar croutons. I hope that you guys enjoyed this grocery haul. And now I am going to get all of this stuff put away. I forgot to show that I also got these couple things as well. One more box of mac and cheese, spaghetti noodles, chicken bouillon cubes, two boxes of graham crackers, pasta sauce, and two packages of tortillas. And now that is everything that I got today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye.